you're in sunny Florida and you want to know all the facts, everything laid out. So here it is. Um, starting from the beginning, if you're not a cash buyer, you, I would recommend you get pre-approved from a local lender. Um, real estate mortgage companies have to be licensed here in the state of Florida. So if you use an out-of-state uh, mortgage company, you might have some problems. So I would recommend seeking out a local lender and I am going to put one in the description below uh, that you can actually click on and get pre-qualified in minutes with a local lender that I've been working with for over 10 years. Um, she's done over, what, 104 mortgages last year and a phenomenal lady to know. Um, the first thing that you need to know about real estate here in Florida is that how is the market? Is the market hot? Right now it's incredibly hot. A lot of people are buying. Uh, some people are afraid that, oh my God, um, it's not going to last. Uh, the market's coming down. You know, I'm gonna wait a year, I'm gonna rent first. Um, you're never going to be a real estate expert. And that's why I recommend that you use the knowledge of a professional real estate agent uh, who is experienced and knows what they're doing in the area that you want to buy. If you don't know which area you want to buy, then uh, choose an agent or several agents that can actually give you the inside scoops on what's going on. Even if you lived here for more than five years or 10 years, you still may not have the inside of the real estate scoop of what's going on and you may be renting for a very, very long time. So, um, step number one is I would seek an agent that you like, that has experience, knowledge, and that you feel comfortable working with. There's a lot of agents out there that are not very experienced or that don't know the area, and you may end up with somebody who is not knowledgeable. So. Uh, the best thing to do is find a good agent who you are comfortable with and sign a buyer's agency agreement because this way uh, you and the agent have a bond and that agent is going to work for you like no end. Um, some people don't like buyer's agency agreements. They're all like, hmm, I don't really know if I want to do that because um, I might get a better deal without an agent. This is simply not true. Um, and I'll explain all of this in the video that I'm making. So let's get started. Um, the first thing that I would do is if you are not a cash buyer, uh, if you are a cash buyer, what you need is proof of funds. So when submitting an offer, they want to know if you have the money to buy the house uh, for that money. So if you're buying something for $500,000, you have to show an account or several accounts that show that that money is available to you at the time that you make this offer. Um, the second thing that you have to know is the market is very hot right now. It's July 2021. There are more people buying right now than there are homes available. So things are um, actually coming on the market and going off the market very, very quickly. So the strategy that our team, the Thomas team at Premier Brokers International Real Estate here in South Florida um, has developed is a very unique approach on getting homes bought um, by using a technique of several offers and seeing which ones actually get accepted. But not only for active properties, for active contingent properties, and up and coming properties as well. So, very neat little strategy to use this way. If one of your offers get accepted, then you at least have a home that you like. If uh, more than one offer gets accepted, you can always cancel the other ones, pick the best one, cancel the others. So that's a very unique strategy to use here right now in South Florida. 
when buying a house. The other thing that you have to take a look at is once you have a home, um, should you use an agent, should you not use an agent? The answer is absolutely use an agent and the reason for that is, is you never get a deal that is to your advantage when you don't use an agent. When there's only one agent involved, that's normally the seller's agent. Uh, you could buy a home for sale by owner, but typically the for sale by owner people are very experienced in selling real estate. Um, they may have had a license in the past, but no longer have it for whatever reason, but they're very savvy people. So you're up against someone who's very savvy uh, in real estate and knows what they're doing. Uh, and you have no representation. So this is not good because an agent can always help you through the process of getting a house, whether that is negotiating the best rates for you, the best terms, the best conditions, uh, making sure that everything is good with the property, that the inspections are you know, taken care of, the items on the inspection report, that the closing agents are all informed and, and um, ready to go at the time that you need to be into the home. Uh, certain school districts, we have knowledge about all kinds of very important things that you would never get on your own, or you could get it on your own, but it would take, you know, a long time. And by the time that you're able to collect this information and data, that house may be gone to someone else. Um, so the good thing about uh, the Thomas team at Premier Brokers International Real Estate is we are very highly recommended. Uh, people come to us all the time and give us fantastic ratings. We actually have a stack of ratings in our office. Uh, we've tried other um, we've tried other recommendations online, but here's the problem: when they go out of business, or they get sold, or they get bought gobbled up by another company, all of our recommendations that are on that side are gone. So right now, I think who's going to be around the longest would be Google. Now everybody's trying to get Google recommendations. I had a ton of recommendations on Trulia, who is no longer really a major outlet. Uh, Zillow is out there. You may be able to find a house out there but when you get to it you may see that that house may have several offers on it it may be under contract uh, so the best thing to do hire an agent knowledgeable experienced and someone that you can work with that's the best advice that I can give you sign the buyer's agency agreement because that actually puts that bond together where you and that agent have a mutual agreement that that agent is really yours. And that agent is going to work for you till no end. He's not gonna be working for the seller, he's not gonna be working for anyone else, he's going to be working in your best interest. And um, that is one of the recommendations. When you go out and take a look at houses, make sure with your agent, when you're out there looking at houses, make sure that you are ready to go. That means have your pre-qualification letter ready, uh, even what they call a DU, a desktop underwriter, uh, which is a letter saying that they've reviewed all your all your information, that they've pulled your credit report, that um, that normally you have to give them um, tax returns, bank statements, uh, pay stubs, those that kind of information and a desktop underwriter has looked at the file and said hey all we need now is to have a property in place uh, to put this on uh, pre-qualification letter basically is not as strong as a desktop underwriting letter uh, which is the next level up the difference is simply when you have a pre-qualification letter, you talk to a lender, you tell them how much you make, you tell them how much you earn, you tell them how long you've been in business or that you, how long you've been on the job, and they take your word for it. But once they look at all the documents, maybe you have a lot, some write-offs, maybe the income isn't what you 
you know, um, over a 12 month period isn't exactly what you were looking at, that's the thing that they look at. And so it's better to have all your documents in, ready to go, guns loaded, ready to jump on a property when it comes on the market for sale. So you go out, you take a look at some houses, you see something that you like, and you may make several offers on several different properties. Um, some will get rejected, some will get accepted. Once you have the one that you really want, um, cancel the others and proceed with that particular property. Now your agent is going to be able to give you some valuable information. You do have a uh, dual, due diligence period, which is what we call an inspection period. It can range anywhere from 5 days to 15 days. And that gives you time to actually evaluate the property, check out the school districts, check out the neighborhood, um, do an inspection on the property, do all those due diligence things that you need to do to feel comfortable about buying this house or condo or townhouse, whatever you may be looking at. So now you have it under contract. Now what? Now the agent's job really begins because finding a house, putting an offer on a house, that's the easy part. The other part is, is getting the inspections done and who are you going to use for an inspector. The agent has knowledge about that. Um, can recommend maybe some inspectors or point you in the right direction of finding an inspector that's right for you. Um, and then going through the process, uh, appraisals. What happens if the property doesn't appraise? What then? Uh, what will happen next? And the agent offers assistance in that as well. So there are things that the lender can do to um, to reevaluate the uh, value at maybe some time where we take a look at properties that are under contract and that may be closing in the next few days and we may ask the appraiser to reevaluate the property based on the new appraisal that is going to be closing in the next couple of days. Uh, appraisers call us up all the time asking us questions about property, about when is this one closing, uh, what was the condition of this property. So they actually reach out to us and um, talk to us about getting the right value to get their data accurate. And that's what we're all looking to do is make sure we have accurate data for everyone to see that when you buy something, uh, it's a very comfortable and pleasant experience for you. Not saying that there's not going to be any minor bumps in the road because buying a property and uh, going through that process, there could be a bump in the road. Uh, could be from an underwriter wanting another document that uh, from you, and you're going, "Oh my God, I thought I gave them everything. Now they want something else." Uh, there is a possibility of that happening. A high possibility. So uh, simply provide them with the documents that they need so they can process the loan and get the loan ready. If you're buying a property cash, make sure that um, you jump on that property. Cash buyers expect uh, sellers to sell at you know maybe a discount because they're all cash. This is simply not true. The seller will get all of their money at closing, whether, whether it's a financed property or whether it's a cash property at closing they get their money they get one check and it doesn't matter the benefit of of paying cash for a property is that um, you actually don't have lender fees origination fees it takes money to borrow money so therefore um, you'll be saving on that end uh, there may be some other things that cash buyers can avoid as far as finances, charges, things like that. Um, but the best thing to do is work through the agent. The agent is the glue that keeps everything together to make sure that everything is done fairly, diligently, that everything is disclosed, that all cards are on the table, that everybody knows everything that um, 
is necessary or that they they want to know about a property when they're buying it and that the secret is is renting versus buying some buyers come to me and say Mike I want to rent for a year before I buy and although that sounds good that they want to come down here explore the area for a year what happens is in a year from now the property may be worth a lot more so now they're going to be paying more for that property than this year and it could be significantly higher um, lately the property values here have jumped quite a bit so on a typical $500,000 house maybe they'll pay $50,000 more plus if they're going to be renting something that's and rent is not cheap here in Florida either so you might end up spending $3,000 a month for 12 months be locked in a 12 month lease and now you spent $36,000 you have to pay $50,000 more for that same house that you could have bought last year so now you're at $85,000, $86,000 and the tax benefits that you could have had by owning a property the tax write-offs which you don't have as a renter could equal as much as $100,000 so the opportunity lost just by renting for one single year could be very significant to you so use the knowledge of the real estate agents uh, worst case scenario you buy something if you feel that that wasn't the right house for you you can always sell that house through the same agent maybe negotiate something with them saying hey this isn't really the house I want you know could you help me find another house and maybe they'll work with you the Thomas team at Premier Brokers International Real Estate does that we work for people that may have bought a house and now their needs have changed or um, they had a change of heart and they want to buy something different in a different neighborhood maybe they have some friends in the neighborhood in a different neighborhood and they want to be closer to them or some family so those are the kind of things that you need to know here in Florida when buying a house or a condo or a townhouse all of which increase in value uh, it all depends on location 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 here in Florida you're buying a location and if it comes with a house a condo or a townhouse on it or even a trailer that's a bonus land is very expensive here in Florida and so the location is the most important aspect just like any place else in the United States location is different there's a difference between the Bronx and Manhattan even though they are adjacent to one another the property values are are different and that's the same here in Florida uh, the closer you get to the ocean the more you might expect to pay for property the further west you go the more you'll get but the further you are away from the ocean it all depends on your needs and by a good real estate agent evaluating exactly what your needs are and finding them uh, maybe your needs are not being close to the ocean or on a golf course maybe you want to be in a good school district and an agent can definitely be invaluable when looking for a house so the Thomas team at Premier Brokers International Real Estate services all the way from the Florida Keys all the way up to Vero Beach including all of the Palm Beaches all of Broward County including Fort Lauderdale um, out towards Weston and down to the Miami and the Miami and the uh, Florida Keys uh, we do have offices throughout the entire state of Florida so don't hesitate to give us a call and we'll put you in touch with an agent in the area that you're looking for maybe you're looking for something on the west coast of Florida the Naples Fort Myers area Sarasota Tampa area or you may be looking for something in the middle of the state uh, the Orlando area as we call it the greater Orlando area or the Jacksonville area or the Tallahassee area we can always service your needs so 
if you contact us and let us know exactly what you're looking for, we will put you in touch with an agent who has experience, knowledge, and that might be a good fit for you uh, to work with and help you find the right home for you. And if it's not the right home, just remember the way that the property values are going right now, um, it's, it's a great market. And if you believe that the property values are coming down anytime soon, I don't believe that they are. And the reason for that is, is because if the market is coming down, the entire market in the United States comes down. Not just one place. You know, if the real estate market crashes, it crashes nationally. It doesn't crash, you know, at a particular state or region. I mean, property values can come down in that region, but right now people are looking here it's a high desired area we have tropical climates we have um, great shopping excellent restaurants the lifestyle here is amazing and if you want to get away from the cold winters and the snow shoveling and <laughs> the scraping icy windows off of your car before going to work florida may be a better option for you Right now, there's a lot of homes that are going on the market in New York, New Jersey, uh, Pennsylvania area. Those are the people that are coming to Florida, migrating down here. And so if you want a good deal on real estate, you may want to consider New York, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, because those houses are going on the market for sale as they migrate down here to South Florida. And that's what makes this state a very hot, hot commodity. Next to Hawaii, our weather is a considered a tropical climate. Uh, even California is not considered a tropical climate. If you want to swim in their oceans, even in the summertime, most likely you're wearing a wetsuit. Here in Florida, um, swimwear is the only thing required to swim in the ocean at this time of year. We're now about 80 degrees. Uh, ocean temperature it can get as high as 88 90 degrees ocean temperature so it's kind of like swimming in a bathtub it is wonderful the weather is uh, fantastic and if you're gonna live anywhere you might as well live in paradise and that is my video on <laughs> that's my video on moving down here to South Florida those are the essential things that you need to know um, trust your agent trust their ability make sure that they're a good experienced agent that has experience years of experience uh, in the field if it's some agent that a friend or someone that you know recommended they may not be the best agent for you the best thing to do is call us up here at the Thomas team at Premier Brokers International Real Estate, which will be in the link below. Uh, we will find a good agent who has experience, knowledge, and the ability to sell you a good home that you will be happy with um, for a long time to come. If you have any questions, comments, please leave them below. Don't forget to subscribe to our link with the subscribe button, it's over here. <laughs> and um, let us know if you have any other questions or comments. We'll be more than happy to answer uh, your questions for you and help you uh, in your moving process here to Florida, a pleasant one. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful day.